All right, what's going on guys? Willis Gaming here. We are back again with another Destiny video. Now the news for Rise of Iron continues to keep rolling in and getting leaked. In this video, we're going to be talking a bit about what's going to be included in the Rise of Iron expansion, a few more screenshots and a bit of information. So if you guys enjoy the video and you are hyped and you cannot wait for the reveal tomorrow, hit that like button. It does help the video out. And remember to subscribe if you are new. I'm going to try and keep you guys up to date with all of the Rise of Iron info, news and content. So, a few minutes ago on Reddit, someone actually was checking out the Microsoft Xbox store and he stumbled across the Rise of Iron expansion. It was literally just there. Uh, there's a link to the actual item, so it is legit, but when you click it, it says it's been removed or it's not available anymore. So obviously this wasn't meant to go up and basically it shows the Rise of Iron and a bunch of new information. So, Destiny Rise of Iron is the next highly anticipated expansion to the Destiny universe. The wall which stood for centuries along the southern border of old Russia has collapsed. Fallen mutants now scavenge the tombs of the golden age and the plague they have unearthed in its wastes is more dangerous than even they understand. Join Lord Saladin, journey through the plague lands, learn the fate of the Iron Lords and stop the growing threat before it's too late. So it looks like these enemies from my previous video that had the red eyes are actually fallen but they are mutated into like a zombie thing which is freaking awesome. Just like with the Taken King it's not really introducing a new enemy. They basically taking an enemy which is already here and making it more creepier and I think that's all right that's pretty cool I mean as long as they go all out with the textures and the freaking effects the new different type of enemies that should be pretty awesome so it includes a new story campaign and quests new armor and gear new weapons new raid maximum light is increased new strike, new plague land zone and social space, that sounds awesome, new crucible modes and maps, new enemy faction and bosses. The new plague land zone actually sounds really interesting. If it's some sort of like swamp area on the actual planet surface, like our first ever social area like on a planet, that sounds amazing. Be cool if it was like some sort of like walled off area and you could basically go out on patrol from the social space and do quest, that just sounds so cool. But yeah, here's a few new screenshots as well of the Rise of Iron that got leaked and that's pretty much everything I think we're up to date now also another thing the release date the release date is September 20th or at least it should be unless it gets delayed a bit so it's about three months away so we do have some waiting to do but hopefully they will keep teasing us with more stuff to come and obviously the reveal is tomorrow I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date on that with some videos and another thing which I thought you guys might find interesting the size of the Taken King was actually 18 gigabytes the size of Rise of Iron is 14 gigabytes so it's only a tiny bit smaller than the Taken King epic I cannot wait guys I'll it's to gonna as many be as I can and I will see you guys, guys in my next video. video. Like I said, discuss it down below in the comment section. What do you guys think about all this new stuff? I'd love to hear. 